friends, welcome to my classroom. Michelle Gay, science teacher. Today, we're talking about friction. Friction is a force opposing sliding motion of two surfaces. Let's look at our hands. We're going to take our hands and put them in this sliding motion and begin to rub them together. What do you notice about your hands as you rub them together? Rub them faster. Did you observe that they are warmer? We are creating friction because we have a sliding motion that are opposed of two surfaces, our two hands. to look at four types of friction. Static friction, sliding friction, rolling friction, and fluid friction. Let's first look at static friction. Static friction is friction when two surfaces are not sliding against each other. If you notice in this video that the hiker is hiking, well, it is static friction that is allowing her to not fall. Her boots are connecting with the ground as she's walking, and that is static friction. The next type of friction is sliding friction. Sliding friction is when two surfaces slide against each other, just like when we were rubbing our hands at the beginning. If you notice in the video, the skis are sliding across the snow, which is causing friction so that the skier will not slip down and fall. It is still holding him up. But sliding friction is not as strong as static friction. Our third type of friction is rolling friction. Rolling friction is when rolling, some type of rolling object, rolls against the surface. It is much weaker than static friction or sliding friction. Here are a group of people that are in a sort of like a rolling park or skate park. Notice that those who are on the skateboards, they are rolling, but they're not just sliding all over the place. Because of the surface of the wheels gives friction against the surface that they are rolling on. So they're able to roll without just sliding on and on and on and on and on. They're able to stop. Notice the people who have on roller skates, that they're able to roll without falling, and they're able to control because there is something on there where they can come to a complete stop and slow down the motion. With the rolling skates, there's rubber that's on the surface, just like tires on a car. Well, of course, we know that with tires on a car, we can use our brakes to stop and so with our rollers, roller skates, we can use, there's a stopper in the front that we can kind of tip down if you've ever roller skated. And it will slow down the skates and then because of friction, you can come to a stop. The last type of friction is called fluid friction. Fluid friction is friction that occurs when an object moves through a fluid. For instance, there are two types of fluid. There's a liquid and there's a gas. So, when you put your hand in water and you begin to move your hand against the water or wash your hands, you feel a resistance. So, that is fluid friction and it is slowing it down. Well, when a parachute begins to descend from the air, there's air resistance. And that air resistance 
or that force begins to push against the parachute. And when it does, it begins to slow that parachute down in descent instead of a quick drop. So that's why when they open that parachute, remember a force is a push or a pull. It pops up and they go up and then they begin to drop back down and descent slowly. What would happen if we did not have the force of friction? What are some examples that you can come up with for each type of friction that I described? Leave me a comment below and tell me the type of friction and give me an example. You can pause the video and then type in your answer and come back and watch an exploration. I'm going to explore sliding friction and rolling friction. We're going to use cars and different types of surface to see how friction acts up on an object. Let's test the cardboard surface to see if it will be easy to move the furniture across this. Not bad. Let's test this one out, the plastic. This one is definitely smoother. What do you think about this full? Let's try it out. Bring it over. Not bad. And back to this one. Definitely the plastic definitely makes it easier and the floor is not bad either but just the plain surface is rough well let's see what would happen if you had to move it on carpet we're going to cover this with a towel it barely slides i have to give it force and push it will not slide on its own so across the carpet has more releases more has more friction than across the other three surfaces there's greater friction here so this is good for other things but not necessarily for moving our furniture across we would need less friction to make the job easier on us we're going to test two marbles and I want you to compare. Okay, now we're going to test two different surfaces. Push this book over here. All right, let's try that again. All right, now we're going to test it on our carpet surface. Will there be a difference? What is your prediction? We're going to do both. Ah, look at that. There is a difference. Let's test it. Against this surface. It took a while for this one to even get in motion. So there's greater friction on our carpet. Our last exploration is going to be rolling friction. We're going to use a car and test on each surface. Which surface do you think the car is going to roll on the fastest? Now I have one of these uh, unique cards where you have to pull back and then let go. So I'm not going to put too much force on this because it will affect the speed. So let's try this one. And one good thing, um, because the materials are simple, when you test this out, use a timer. 
All right, that's the first one. It was a little slower on this one. Let me show you again. And let's look at this surface. That one seemed to go faster. Okay. Now we're going to test two cars. It appears the blue one went faster than the red one. Let's test against these two surfaces. Oh, almost about the same. Let's do it again. Oh, it looks like the red one went faster. Now let's try these two. Almost about the same. Let's compare them on the carpet. What do you think is going to happen? We're going to cover this side. Now here we have the plastic and we're going to compare it to the carpet. Tell me which car is going to go the fastest, the red or the blue? Oh, our blue didn't even move. There it is. Okay, let's try it again. The red. Did you say the red? Let's try it again. Definitely the red because this has a rougher surface. Now, here's a question for you I want you to think about. If you live in an area where there's snow and ice, what could be done so that the roads, when cars are driving, are not slippery so that it has more friction? Think about that. Now we see the blue car is going faster. enjoyed that exploration. Remember guys, friction is a force that opposes motion. When you're out swimming and you're going against the water, that friction opposes your movement. Remember when moving furniture or driving a car or skating or skiing or even just walking, friction opposes the two surfaces that touch and that's what allows us to be able to move. Friction slows things down so that things are not sliding one against the other. Friction is what keeps our books on the table, that keeps our glass on the table. It is because of friction. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you the next time in my classroom, Michelle Gay Science Teacher.